here back again with another video guys don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't this is going to be a team of the week two investments so yeah let's get straight to it into it let's smash 15 likes if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below what you guys thought of this video any future ideas and if you do guys have any queries about the investments comment down below any questions comment down below 15 likes lads follow me on my socials keep up the support let's grind let's try and get those 3k subs lads let's go Put notifications on if you haven't. I'll be doing a stream around 9 p.m. UK time. I do daily streams and videos, trading videos and RTG videos. So if you haven't already, don't forget to smash the sub button. Let's get straight in to the team of the week two investments, the best investments you guys can make to make a shit ton of coins. Let's start off with the reserves. Obviously, we've got Finley, 75 rated, not even worth giving a mention. Same with this guy. These five are not, maybe the silver player. Probably going for around 5k, 5,000 coins. No, he's going for around 8,000 coins. Nah, he's probably not even worth it. 8,000 coins. He might go up to around 10, 11k, but that's it. If you guys want to invest in, but I wouldn't recommend it. Not the best of deals. But anyways, our next, let's get into the gold players now, the decent ones. We've got man like Wesley from the Belgian League. 81 rated, 78 pace, 76 dribbling, 82 shooting, and 85 physical. 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. Looking decent. Brazilian as well. Decent looking card. He's going for around... 10k lads, I can see this card being around 22, 23,000 coins. So this card is one that you guys should invest in. Man like Wesley, Brazilian as well, can link to other Brazilians. Got a decent looking card as well, man. Four star skill moves. I can see him being 20 to 25,000 coins in three to four weeks time. Our next player is the Liga Nos left winger, Shoya Nakajima, who plays for Putnias. Got four star weak foot, four star skill moves, Japanese left wing, 92 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shooting, 77 passing. What a decent looking card to be fair. 94 stamina as well, which is pretty good. Let's see how much coins he's going for. He is going for 10,000 coins, lads. 10,000 coins, that's absolutely insane. Literally, I'm going to pick him up in the video. Oh, no, maybe not. They don't want me to pick him up. But yeah, 10,000 coins, pick him up, store him in the club. And this card will be around 25,000 coins. Once again, I recommend them guys picking them up if you guys got the coins for it go for it Ten thousand coins absolutely worth it lads absolutely worth it let me just put the there our next player is the pool this one's a nice looking card he's all rounded left mid from the cows a four star school is three star weekly especially in the start of the game when people want to go cheap he is going for around eleven thousand coins just also he's argentinian i can see him being around twenty five thousand coins so Wesley, Nakajima and DePaul are players you guys, if you got this card, 10,000 coins, you guys should go for them. Let me check Musa. Musa's a decent looking card, but he is in the pretty crap league. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. I would have recommend you picking him up, unless you go for the super star, but other than that, I would have recommend him. Our next player is Suleimani as well. I would have recommend you guys pick him up. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. Bad league, going for around 10,000 coins, not the best of investments. Would have recommend him. Lala is one I would recommend, lads. Right wing back from League and I believe is that League Un? Is that League Un, lads? Pretty sure that is League Un. French right. That is League Un. 84 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 defending, 80 physical, 76 passing. All rounded, nice looking card. I can see him being around 25,000 coins in like three to four weeks' time. One of the highest rated right backs in the League Un. And he's got all rounded stats, so pretty good for the cheap teams as well. Our next player is goalkeeper Zila, 82 rated from Stuttgart. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. 78 diving, 84 reflex, 82 handling, 83 positioning. Once again, if you got a discard, 10,000 coins just in the bank and you want to invest in someone, I'll probably go Zila's a decent shout. Not the best of investments. I can see him being around 18, 20,000 coins, but I can't see him being much more than that. Once again, if you're limited, then go ahead. If not, don't. Yeah, Zila's a decent card, not the best. Wouldn't recommend you guys picking him up. Once again, that is your choice. I can't just, I just can't see him being too much coins. So yeah, let's go straight into the next player. We got Petr Cech from the Premier League. This is a really nice investment. I even picked him up in my team. Let me show you guys. I literally picked him up for my team as an investment. I picked him up for 15,000 coins, I believe. Let me check. 15,500 coins. Let me check how much he's going for. I can easily see this card be around 40 to 45k, 100%. He's going for a bit lower due to the fact of the ones to watch hype, and lots of them have been packed. So, yeah, I can see this card being around 40,000 coins, 45,000 uh, coins. So, this is a. And he's 84 rated as well, so he will be needed for SPCs, especially the ones to watch SPCs when you need high rated informs, or even for the icon SPCs. And he's from the Premier League, Arsenal as well, lads. 
this card is a card you should invest. If you've got like 100k, I recommend you guys picking four or five of them up because that would be really nice profit. I can see you guys making 25,000 coins in each card on Petter Check. Our next player is Hernandez, 84 rated center back, going for around 85,000 to 90,000 coins. Once again, banging looking card, 84 pace, 74 dribbling, 84 defending, 80 physical, 80 physical insane looking card. I can see this card being around 130, 140k. So if you do have the high coins at the start of the game, around 85, 90,000 coins, and you don't mind investing, this is the card you guys should be looking at. I can see him being around 120, 130,000 coins. So you can make 40,000 coins in one card. Our next player is another card that I have invested in myself, man like Matip, the 84 rated centre back from Liverpool. He's currently going for around 17 to 18,000 coins. He's got a nice, decent looking card, 66 pace, 85 defending, 80 physical. Once again, same like Petr Cech, I can see this card being around 45, 50,000 coins. But for the fact he's a centre back, there's not many decent centre backs in the Premier League. There's obviously the top quality ones, but other than that, there's Davidson Sanchez and that with Joe P. But like the lower, cheaper ones, there's not much of an option. And Matic, even if he's not the best centre backs, he is an 84 rated. He will be needed for future SPCs. And just for that fact, you need the high rated SPC. 84 is classified as high, so I can see him being 45, 50,000 coins in three to four weeks. Especially Team of the Week 2 is still going to be rare. It's going to be similar to Team of the Week 1. Our next player is Munier, which is one of the best investments to make in this team of the week, lads. But anyways, it's currently going for around 55, 60,000 coins. Look at that card. 80 pace, 78 dribbling, 80 shooting, 81 passing, 86 physical, 81 defending. Absolutely beast looking card. Insane. Four star week for it as well. He's got the perfect link to Mbappe. I can see this card being 100k. 100%, 100k, lads. You will make 40 to 50,000 coin profit just on this card by itself, which is absolutely insane. So, Munier is a card to go for, lads. Pick him up if you got the coin for it. Our next player is Lucas Leva. He's got a decent looking card 69 pace, 81 dribbling, 84 defending, 70 physical, 80 passing, 71 shooting, lads. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, lads. All the links in the social. Any guys are willing to donate, links in the uh, description down below. Once again, you don't have to. As long as you can show support for our other videos, that will be insane. But if any of you guys are willing to, that will be awesome. So as you guys can see, Lucas Leva is going for really cheap. Can't, he's going for around 18,000 coins. I can see this card being around 30 to 35,000 coins. Decent looking card. Pretty much all-rounded card. Nearly 70 plus in every stat. He is Brazilian as well. Gives you that links. And also he's in the Cal So I can see him being around 35, 40,000 coins. Nice, cheeky investment there. Another card that I have invested in myself is Ilkay Gundogan. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves, 70 pace, 87 dribbling, 72 defending. He's got 70 plus and everything, 86 passing, 79 shooting, 72 physical. Absolutely insane looking card. German from the BPL, Man City as well. I picked him up myself for 56k and a half. He's going for around that price right now. I can easily see this card doubling in price. Doubling in price, that's 120, 130k lads. Go pick him up if you got the coins. One of the best investments in this team of the week. Our next player is Bertrand Trior. He's got a nice looking card, lads. 90 pace, 87 dribbling, 79 shooting, 78 passing, 70 physical. The problem is his one star week for lads. One star week for literally made his price, like his price, he's not going to increase as much as the potential he could if he had the four star week for or the four star, uh, three star week for. So he's going for around 15,000 coins. I can see this card being around 25,000 coins. Not the best of investment, lads, but you can go for it. Profit is profit at the end of the day. Our next player is Anderson Taliska, 84 rated cam card. Nice looking card. He's only going for around 30,000 coins. I can easily see this card being 50, 60,000 coins in a month's time. Brazilian in the Chinese league. Highest rated cam in the Chinese league. And one of the highest rated Brazilian cams. Got the links to other players. People might even play him as striker. Shoot to the fact, look at those stats, absolutely insane. Go pick them up, lads, if you've got the coins to do so. Our next player is a bit of it, probably one of the worst in the front three. Someone was selling coins there because he's not going for 60,000 coins. Someone's transferring coins, he's going for 10,000 coins. That's not the best of events. I can see him being 15, 17,000 coins at max. So I would even bother investing in There's better, t uh, better cards in this team of the week to go for. Our next player is Wissam Ben Yedda, which won again one of the best investments to be making in this team of the week. It's going for around 65,000 coins. I can easily see this card being 120. So yeah, 120,000 coins is going for. I can see him going for 120, 130. One of the best La Liga strikers by far. Look at those stats. 88 pace, 87 dribbling, 83 shooting, 
five star week for four star skill means you can't go wrong. He's one of the most appealing cards in this team of the week itself. And the next card in this team of the week is the highest rated player in the team of the week. 89 rated striker Lorenzo Insigne. He's got three star week for four star skill means 91 pace, 92 dribbling, 78 shooting, 86 passing lads. He's currently going for around 130k. I can see him myself going for around 200k. No joke, 200k. If you've got the coins for Insigne, pick him up. You can literally be making 60, 70,000 coins on this one card itself. Well, be aware, he's just, obviously he's a left wing originally, but converted to striker. Keep an eye on him in real life, lads. If he does play well, sell this card. But I can see him being around 190, 200k. That means you'll be making 60, 70,000 coins, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, man, pick him up if you can. So the best investments overall from this team, I would say, is probably Ben Yadda, a few other coins, Matip, Petr Cech. Most of this team of the week is pretty good to invest. Starting 11 is absolutely insane, except Ibizovic and Bertrand Traore is. So all these nine players are insane. From the bench, I'll probably recommend Nakajima and Wesley to invest in, and even Lala. Other than that, so there's probably like 12, half of the team, so... Half of the team of the week is pretty shit to invest in, and half of it is pretty good. So, Lala, Nakajima, Wesley from the subs, and everyone in the starting 11, except Bertrand Traore and Ibizovic, is a good investment, lads. So start investing, send me some tweets, or DM me on Insta, follow me on Insta, lads, follow me on my socials, tweet me, send me what, whoever you guys invested in, so I'm aware. If you guys made a shit ton of coins in a month's time, can't number, like, send me footage of what, how much you sold them. So yeah, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. As you guys can see, I've invested in myself, Ilkay Gundogan in form, in form Matip, in form Petacek, and in form Shaka from the other, um, what was it, other team of the week. I'll be doing a wants to watch investments video. I've invested in myself, Richarlison. Comment below, hashtag wants to watch if you got to this part of the video. Hashtag wants to watch if you got to this part of the video. And if you want a wants to watch the uh, wants to watch investment video, comment down below, lads. Smash the like button, subscribe if you already. It's been your boy, Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video. This time was team of the week two investment. Let's smash 15 likes. Comment below what you think. I am out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. See ya. Adios, mis amigos. Adios. Uh, give me a sec. Goodbye.